Good Wednesday morning, lads. I'm Cheyenne Gallier. And I'm Isaac Fleet. And this is your KWHS News. Seniors, stay in touch with college visits by checking with the Counseling Center in person or visiting their websites. Here are the visits scheduled for February. UCCS returns on February 7th, followed by Colorado Mesa University on February 20th. Western Colorado University has scheduled another visit with us on April 17th. Remember, you need a pass to attend these college visits, and you can get those passes in the Counseling Center. Seniors, here is some news you can use. Class Class shirts are still available for $15, but the numbers and sizes are limited. Get yours soon in the Counseling Center so you can wear it for the Senior Panoramic on February 13th in Bowers Gym. If you are planning to apply for the Fountain Valley Scholars Scholarship, get your applications ready right now because the deadline is February 1st. On the other hand, if you are short on credits for graduation or you dropped the ball in classes last semester, get ready for the next session of credit recovery classes. The spring session starts on February 11th with the orientation and pre in Lab 153 at 3.30. The deadline to register is February 6th. Remember, you could take up to two classes per session and the tuition is $100 per course. See your counselor for more information and details. You can register on the WSD3.org page, then select District Programs and click on the High School Credit Recovery. Glads, it's time to start selecting your classes for next year and a few of those classes require applications. To join us here on the KWHS staff, pick up your application in room 102 from Mrs. Newt. Those of you interested in joining the yearbook staff, pick up those applications from Mrs. Kennedy in room 104. Both the KWHS and yearbook applications are due on January 29th. If you are interested in becoming a teacher in the future, check in with Ms. Ship in room 202 for an application for the Teacher Cadet Program. You can also get an application in the Counseling Center. Juniors, if you are interested in taking college classes next year at PPCC through the Career Start program, you must sign up in the Counseling Center by January 25th. That's next Friday. If you want to know more about this program, check in with the Counseling Center, but don't delay, the early bird catches the worm. When we return from break, we'll have some new information on upcoming PSAT sessions. But first, we're heading to the sports desk with our Gladiator Sports Update with Ethan Simon. Good Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Ethan Simon, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. USAFA Athletics is hosting Student Appreciation Day on February 2nd at 2 p.m. at Clune Arena. Come watch the Air Force Academy Falcons take on the CSU Rams. Tickets for students are just $5 and adults are 7 Visit this website and use the promotional code STUDENT to get your tickets. Our forensics team competed in a Congress meet at St. Mary's High School yesterday afternoon. Congratulations to all speakers. The next meet for the team is on Saturday at La Junta High School for a varsity tournament. In basketball news, our boys traveled to Sierra last night and handed the Stallions a satisfying loss. The boys are back at home on Thursday night against the Elizabeth Cardinals at 7 p.m. right here in Bowers. Come out and cheer them on to victory. In ladies basketball news, the ladies are traveling up north to Elizabeth on Thursday night to play the Cardinals at 7 p.m. We'll have scores for you for both teams on Friday. In swimming news, our Lady Grizzlyators are in the water this afternoon against the Woodland Park Panthers at 4 p.m. Check out the ladies as they continue adding to their winning season. And speaking of swimming, Miss Wickberg is holding an informational meeting on January 23rd at lunch in room 110 for all boys interested in trying out for the swim and dive team. Those practices will begin on February 25th. In wrestling news, the team is traveling to a dual meet tonight against the Purple School at Mesa starting at 6 p.m. Go out and cheer the team to more pins and wins. For you ladies interested in playing tennis this spring, Mr. Washington is holding a short informational meeting and sign up at lunch on Friday in his room. If you are unable to make it but would like to play, please see Mr. Washington for details. And those of you who are interested in getting swole, there will be a meeting tomorrow in room 501 after school at 301 to discuss the weight program. And speaking of weights and weight training, stay tuned on Friday when we resume Damon's Dose of Health. This week we'll hear about keeping those New Year's resolutions. That's it for your Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Ethan Simon. Have a great week. Now back to the news desk with Cheyenne and Isaac. Thanks for that update, Ethan. Glads, Mrs. Griggs will be having a mandatory step meeting at lunch on January 24th in room 131 for all students currently in the program and students interested in the program this semester. 
If you are unable to attend, please see Mrs. Griggs in room 131. And now, here's Miss Betsy and her crew with the lunch menu. Uh-oh, guess what day it is. Guess what day it is. Huh? Anybody? Julie, hey, guess what day it is. Oh, come on, I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 what day is it, Mike? <laughs> Leslie, guess what today is? It's hump day. Woo -woo! Happy Wednesday, everybody. Today we're going to have chicken pot pie and tomorrow grilled ham and cheese. Hope to see you then. Have a great one. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Glads, remember to add money to your account by seeing Miss Betsy in the cafeteria or by going online. Students, Renaissance applications are now available on the school website under activities. Applications are due on January 24th to Mr. Dania in room 130. Freshmen, you are eligible to apply this time around, so check it out. Glads, this April, students will be taking the PSAT and SAT exams. This year, the PSAT counts as a graduation requirement, so earning strong scores is important. To help us prepare for these exams, WHS is offering PSAT, SAT study sessions during advisory every Thursday for 10 weeks. Here's how it's going to work. We do have to sign up for one of the sessions offered. Those sessions include reading, writing, math, test anxiety, and content boost with Khan Academy. Sign up in the library Mondays through Wednesdays each week. And, as we said, study sessions will be on Thursdays during advisory. The location for your session will depend on the session you're attending. Oh, that reminds me. If you do sign up for a session, you must show up because attendance will be taken. Signing up for these sessions is voluntary, but the sessions are free and you might boost your PSAT, SAT scores so you can graduate on time. So really, what do you have to lose? The first sessions will be held on Thursday, January 24th, and sign-ups will start on January 21st. You should totally check these out. That's all we have for you today, Glads. Have a great Wednesday. I'm Cheyenne Gallier. And I'm Isaac Fleet, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great week, Glads.